Minwi is this French German who had explored on behalf of the Dutch, who's now returning on behalf of the Swedes, claiming a new colony in what would become Delaware. Peter Minwi needed to establish a fort, establish a colony, get it to grow, get it to thrive, before the Dutch or the English would find out about it and snuff it out. Peter Minwi has been a volunteer scout in 1624 for the Dutch. So his job was to scout the entire waterways of what was then New Netherland. So he has the strategic knowledge and the tactical, on the ground, local knowledge. One of the things that Minwi understood about the shaky hold that the Dutch had on New Netherland was they had not purchased all of the territory from the natives. And he knew that when you got down to the southern portion of the colony, one side of the river, the Dutch had purchased the land from the natives, and the other side, they had not. It was during Minwi's previous time in the New World that he spotted a prominent outcropping of rocks on the banks of what is now Wilmington, Delaware. And in the spring of 1638, Minwi and the crew of the Kalmar Nickel splashed down at the rocks. Once on land, Minwi set up a trading relationship with the native Lenape. March 29th of 1638, they signed the purchase treaty with the natives. It's hard to imagine the Lenape giving ownership of this property to these people the first time they met them within the first month. But we welcomed them. We shared our resources with them. The Lenape have always been a very generous people. And I would say that if we weren't very generous and friendly, they probably would not have allowed the Swedes to stay. They really wanted to make sure that these people who were coming to stay on their land were going to be allies. If you're attacked, we'll help out. And if we're attacked, you'll help us. The natives saw it as something like a defensive alliance. The Swedes and Native Americans had their treaty. Now, the Swedes needed a fort. Fort Christina was actually designed mostly as a defensive barrier against English or Dutch incursions. This was not really designed to save them from a native Lenape attack. Fort Christina was built in the shape of a star. Inside the fort, the soldiers start to build two log cabins. One, a barracks for the soldiers. The other, a storehouse for the trade goods. The first log cabins in America were built right here in New Sweden. The Finns that were brought over were craftsmen. The log cabin is arguably one of the most significant contributions to architecture in the New World given by the Swedes and Finns. The New Sweden colony, its starting point was in Wilmington, Delaware. Eventually, it spread all the way into Maryland to the west, all the way up to Trenton, New Jersey to the north, and it was on both sides of the Delaware River. Very simplistic notion of how America was colonized is the English came and they planted their colonies and they spread across the continent, and then other people started coming. Right from the beginning, it was a mixed, multi-ethnic, polylingual story. The Swedes were here before the English and before Penn arrived in the Delaware Valley. Philadelphia, in effect, was Swedish before it was English. Fort Christina was the first permanent European settlement in the entire Delaware Valley. It's also the first permanent European settlement in what would become Delaware, which ultimately becomes the first state of the United States of America. 